The Sentinel is, of course, a much-loved local newspaper, but we are so much more than that. And our aim today is to showcase every aspect of our multimedia business. There is a case for saying that our audience has never been bigger. The fact is, more people read what the Sentinel publishes today than when I first started 21 years ago. We're by far the largest media organisation in Staffordshire, selling more than 30,000 newspapers a day, six days a week. As the first local editor for more than 40 years, I'm extremely proud to say we have got a fantastic award-winning team at the Sentinel, and today you're going to meet some of our brightest and best people. You may be aware that Sentinel is the largest selling newspaper in the local world group of publications. Quality and accuracy remain to us as important in 2016 as it was when our predecessors first developed black and white prints for the use of the Sentinel more than 70 years ago. The Sentinel is 162 years old today. We bring order to the chaos. We ask, we pester, we cajole, we persuade, as many of you will know. We put in freedom of information at requests. We hold organisations and individuals to account. But whatever the big problems of the past, the role and responsibility of the current editor-in-chief have never been greater or more challenging in the paper's history than he takes today. Within the Sentinel's newsroom, there is a small independent team of experienced journalists that is solely responsible for a vast range of editorial and community projects. We organise events, produce niche publications and create bespoke films. And as, as the marketing landscape uh, and, and the way in which consumers are getting their news and, and the economy of attention has evolved, so have we. Teaming up with a variety of partner organisations, the Sentinel last year produced a series of terrific supplements which really added value for readers and helped to reinforce us at the heart of all things local. The Sentinel, both online and in print, is the biggest source of independent Stoke City news bar none. So the hard-breaking news, the traditional hard-breaking news of the newspaper that would have gone the City Final Edition still does the business for us online, which is really interesting and it's kind of grounding for us as well. We need to be disciplined, to raise the expectations, to stop saying we're this broken, damaged place that used to do pottery and steel and now we don't. There are some amazing things, I have to tell you, going on in the schools in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, so never doubt for a moment, there are real, really, really great things going on. There is a really good feeling in Stoke-on-Trent. The story for, for Stoke-on-Trent is a city back on its feet, a city back in business, and an appreciation of, of the story of Stoke-on-Trent. 